Bosons are particles with integer spin. Due to the symmetric two-particle nature of its wave functions, bosons do not obey the Pauli exclusion principle like fermions whose two-particle wave functions are antisymmetric. In other words, a quantum state can accommodate more than one boson. Now, let's start with a single energy level, which has three possible states, or a degeneracy g equals to 3, and the number of bosons to be n equals to 10. There are of course many different ways to arrange them, and here we only show two possible ways of distributing the bosons. To generalize the ways where these bosons can be arranged, it will be helpful to line up all the 10 bosons, and partition them in accordance with the different states they occupy with partition sticks. The number of partition sticks will be g-1, which is 2 in this example. Hence, the number of ways to arrange the bosons, or the multiplicity, will simply be the different ways to arrange these balls and sticks. Since the balls are indistinguishable, just like the sticks, we should use the combination formula. The total number of balls and sticks is n plus g minus 1. Hence the multiplicity m is given by n plus g minus 1 factorial, divided by n factorial, and divided by g minus 1 factorial. The multiplicity of the system is then the product of the multiplicities for all the energy levels. Let's end this with a simple example of a 3 energy level system. The degeneracies G1 is 2, G2 is 3 and G3 is 4. The number of bosons are N1 equals 7, N2 equals 6 and N3 equals 3. With these, we can work out the multiplicities for each energy level, and the total multiplicity for the system is 4480. We will discuss the Bose-Einstein distribution law in another video, with the link in the description. Stay tuned, and subscribe, so you will be notified of our future episodes. Join our Free Science Academy Discord channel to discuss science and technology. High school students are welcome to join and post your questions, we will answer them during our free time.